In ancient Rome, trousers were on the outs, by law, and it was a matter of culture as much as comfort. These days, pants are such a staple in menswear that it's easy to take them for granted. In fact, there are some who find men in anything but some form of trousers to be wildly controversial, which is sort of weird. Why? It's 2019, and I want to feel sexy too. Is that so wrong? For starters, there was a time in ancient Rome when a man wearing pants was considered objectionable. Let's start here. If men weren't wearing pants in ancient Rome, then what were they wearing? As Atlas Obscura explains, Roman fashion for both genders can be summed up by the two T's, or tunics and togas. Tunics were casual and togas were worn for fancy occasions. At its peak, history says the Roman Empire spanned roughly 2 million square miles. Within that vast space were many different cultures, each one with its own style of clothing. It was this Roman point of view on certain colonized people with whom the Roman Empire frequently fought throughout history that led some Roman men to consider breaches to be the distasteful clothing choice of the unwashed, uncouth hordes. Around 50 BC, Roman armies led by Julius Caesar conquered Gaul, or what is now modern-day France. While fighting in Gaul, Caesar encountered native people whom he considered uncivilized. And what were they wearing? You guessed it, pants, which were most often made from animal skins. The same proved true of other Germanic peoples the Romans came across as they conquered Europe, many of whom were called barbarians. The famous Roman poet Ovid recounted what one group of people he met in Romania looked like, as well as what they wore, including trousers, writing, The people, even when they were not dangerous, were odious, clothed in skins and trousers with only their faces visible. During this time, trousers or pants came to represent an otherness to the people Rome conquered and with whom Rome fought to keep under control. University of California Berkeley historian Suzanne Elm explains it this way. Good orators were using rhetoric in a rather sophisticated way. They were picturing foreign tribes in the way that mostly suited their needs, and they were relying on visual imageries to make sure that barbarian otherness would stand out. Wearing pants was just one example of this deviant behavior. The writings of Roman historian Publius Cornelius Tacitus suggest that as late as around AD 100, pants wearing was still considered the domain of uncouth foreign hordes, alongside river bathing and ponytails. Around that same time, though, Roman soldiers began wearing a kind of trouser they called a brocci. These early versions of the common trouser were made predominantly of wool and held up by a drawstring, and were better suited for the colder, more northern climates where the Roman armies were fighting much more often. As pants-like attire became much more common among the ranks of Roman soldiers, they also became more popular in the general population. To quell this trend, men were not allowed to wear pants under official decree. Around the year 400, Roman emperors Honorius and Arcadius issued a decree stating, no person should be allowed to appropriate to himself the use of boots or trousers. Those caught in such attire could be exiled, but as Elm points out, that ban likely had less to do with the pants themselves and more to do with keeping trousers the sole domain of the military. No matter what, though, Roman culture was changing, and like bell-bottoms in the 1960s or skinny jeans in the 2000s, pants fashion led the way. Around a hundred years after that decree from the Roman emperors Honorius and Arcadius, Rome had fallen to these same pant-wearing Germanic tribes. Those were groups like the Visigoths, which the Romans referred to as barbarians. With that, pants-wearing slowly became less taboo, and according to professor and author Kelly Olson, trousers were even then worn in the only remaining Roman court in Constantinople. Olson notes in her book Masculinity and Dress in Roman Antiquity that by the 6th century, Roman opinion on pants had completely changed. Long sleeves, fitted tunics, and pants were common in the court of the Roman emperor. Olson explained, If you were close to the emperor, that's what you would wear. Bearing all that in mind, it's safe to assume that Romans then and now still put their pants on one leg at a time, just like we do. These jeans are from heaven above.